all right it's been a while since we've been here we haven't played this particular car mode in a long time i think like six days or something almost a week here yeah. and last episode we we got a couple players we got um what's their name we got Foden. that's for sure we got Cancelo. have no idea what i'm doing sorry we got we got Foden. yeah we got florian verts and we got Cancelo. or did we get oh no we got florian verts like previously so we got Foden. we got Cancelo, and we got one more person i really can't remember i think it was that stefan yeah we did get the um the second keeper so i think yeah we got zach stefan last last episode as well but yeah this is what the main team looks like we have cantelo helvig vardio and zaracho in the back and then schmidt playing the holding the holding midfield pedri and kallenberg are playing the center midfield kallenberg will a more advanced role and then german fonseca and Foden are playing at the at the forward position so um we're not making any transfers to the squad any anytime soon and the highlights of last episode wasn't just the transfers we beat fiorentina 6-0 it was a really really fucking crazy ass win and i mean it just shows how how well rounded this team is although i played the match myself so it was easier to get that kind of a score and it was in the it was in the um what do you call it it was in the super cup at that so all right, so the first match we're going to play, obviously, you guys already know, is going to be against Villarreal. So I'm, I'm just going to sim, I'm just going to simulate past the couple matches that we have, and let's see if we're going to be able to get a couple wins this season. I mean, it would be nice to go unbeaten for this episode, but I really, do, I really doubt that's going to happen, especially with the fact that I'm simulating and I'm playing the Villarreal match. The last time I played the match, they did beat us three one, and I don't. I, I, did, I, I didn't really like that because, I mean, why the hell is Villarreal beating us 3-1 when our team is way better? And there are rivals at that. We are at the Villarreal match just a couple days away from the from deadline day for the transfer window. And let's see what we have here. Okay, there's a Peter, Peter's loan offer. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can do here. I'm just going to go for a two year link. He's 17 and 64, so I mean, he might grow to be a beast of a, of a player. And then, Van Gogh is looking schedule. Okay, basically, all of this, all of this is not really that important. So, I think the only thing left to do will just be to change this guy's stuff to balance. He, he's finally at a 90. I didn't think he was a 90 um, in the pre last season. I don't think he was up to a 90. But, I have. I don't really care about that all night rated squad right now. Although if I why the hell am I always going to squad hub to change the formation? <laughs> what the hell? Uh although if I put Florian Hertz, the only person that would that would not be on a, on a 90 is going to be the guys at the left back position that is Cantelo and Stewart. So I mean I'm okay to live with that because I really don't need an all night rated team. I guess, <laughs> but I mean, they might actually end up getting all the way to 90 if um, the dynamic potential things thing comes to play. So we are playing this match against Villarreal, um, we're using our really really nice home kit, and then they're using their home kit as well, but um, do I want to use this? I mean, this formation is actually really good as well, but I'm just going to I'm, I'm just going to go for the normal one. I think I want to even change that formation as well. I think no, not change. I just, I just want to like make a few adjustments to the instructions and stuff. All right, so this is one hell of a rivalry that I really hate so much. We have been going back and forth for the five seasons that we've been. Maybe five seasons. We are in 2026. Started in 2022. All right, so basically four seasons. The four seasons that we've been going at this. Okay, this should be the fifth season. If I'm not wrong. I hope. I hope it's the fifth season. So I think it's the fourth, by the way. But anyways, um, we've been going at it since the beginning of this series, and I mean, I haven't. None of us have been able to establish dominance. I mean, we had dominance for like a season or two at some point, but then last season we completely fucked that up. Really hoping that we are able to re-establish our dominance on this match. So I'm going to be starting straight away 
and let's see what exactly uh, ZM Cohetes can do about Villarreal. I mean, we should be a way better team, if I'm not wrong. All right, so this is our chance. I mean, he was never looking comfortable enough, to be honest. But that was that was supposed to be our first goal. That was legit supposed to be our first goal. Can't can't believe he actually fucked that up. But okay, we go again. I doubt that Villarreal is going to have anything or nothing this match. That is good. Thank you. But the keeper just got the better of that chance. And now we are going to... Alright, let's see if that thing still works. Hopefully it does. It actually still does. And damn, that was close. That was close. Because we were able to steer it on target. But that was... I mean, that corner thing is really well worked. I'm really happy that I actually came up with that because I didn't actually watch any, I didn't actually watch any YouTube videos to, to do that, to be able to know how to do that. It just like happened by luck one time and just, I just picked it up and, whoa! Oh, my hard work is not going to just vanish like that. No, not going to happen. I mean, the pressure was, was really not that because I don't know what the commentator guy is saying. What? Come on! How would you? How would you? Oh God, this game! How the hell would you want to pass all that way? Like it makes no sense, basically. Yeah, we've had three crazy possession. He's offside, and okay. So I really need to work on the final third play. I feel like that in itself is even good. The only problem is is that we are not uh, the keeper for one is saving everything. Okay, that was too early. That was too early for Fonseca. Don't know why the hell I did that. But we still have a chance, and I just completely fucked it up. I completely fucked that up so bad. And yeah. I mean, we are basically choking them. I'm basically choking them like for real, for real. But all right, so this might just be, this might just be it. Thank you, definitely. Fonseca is never going to miss that kind of shit, unlike Florian Gertz. And that was a really, really, really good goal from the interception, and then the pass was pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Fonseca was not going to miss that ever. If he did, <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's one nil in a match that we are dominating like crazy. So I'm not expecting them to score in this match. That that, that should be the expectation. How far is this? Thirty point five meters. He might he might just be able to get this. His shot power is crazy. So let's. I mean, I don't know how to do knuckle ball for shit. But let's just. Let's just try this. If it if it comes off, then <laughs> of course not. Of course not. Of course not. I mean, I should have done a normal, regular inside curl, inside foot curl. But I mean, the knuckleball, I still I still don't know exactly how to get it. But half time, and we are doing really really well. If I'm not wrong. I mean, it looks like, I mean, we, we are doing really well from what I've seen. I mean, they, they they have only one shot on goal, or is that two? Yeah, um, they have the one from the corner and the one that caught the corner. So, <sighs> alright, so, Fonseca, Vardio, yeah, Vardio is doing so well since I brought him on. And he he's, he's joint top rated player in the team with Schmidt, Fonseca and Foden, so... I mean, I think he has also peaked up as well. So, all right. So that was good play from them, but 
We should be able to stop this. Thank you, Helvig. Straight to Fonteca. No one is there, but I'll make someone be there. And no. <laughs> I was I was confused and I got blocked by the amount of players already. I mean I saw Fonteca making the run, but I just wasn't able to do that fast enough. Okay, I see German. Would he get to him? No, he would not. Oh my god. The defender actually fucked up and I was not ready for that. Crap. <laughs> that sucked. I mean, if I knew he wasn't do that, I would have pressed the shoe button immediately. Alright, so I'm bringing Kallenberg on for Florian. And let's see. Can Fonteca do this on his own? No, he cannot. And German can basically do something. Oh my god, we got obstructed so bad there. That was so that, that was so annoying. Alright, so German what I can't believe he actually got that in the post. I legit cannot believe he actually got that in the post. That was that that, that was crazy. That was fucking crazy. Oh, wow. So I mean that was a really good last minute pass from Fonseca. I mean I pressed the pass button a long time ago, but man was just decided to sleep on it. And we actually did end up with a goal there. And that's that's just that just shows the level of the level that um Fonseca and Callum sorry, Fonseca what the hell was that pass? Folding, come on. That just shows the level Fonteca and German are at right now because that was a very tight corner to score and then same that was a very tight corner to pass from and he actually did get the pass spot on the right weight the right direction and all right oh my god just played away straight away thank you no not not german not fucking german damn all right so Okay, so Foden basically is not doing anything. I don't know why. And I think Tommy has to... Or let's bring Stewart on for Cantelo. And there's still Correa, there's still James that I could still bring on later on. I mean, I don't, I mean I'm really good with the team that we're having right now. I'm just like uh, exchanging players because, because I can't and I need to, basically. Alright, so Fonteca. Oh my god, that was crazy. I cannot believe this guy actually got that. What the hell? What the hell, man? That was sick. He actually he actually picked that up. He ran past the defender and picked that up. And then I really hate seeing that replay thing. But that was that goal was crazy. That goal was really fucking crazy. And we are leading 3 0. We say, come on, use your speed here. Thank you, back to him. Alright, Forteca hat trick, and yes. <laughs> oh my days, we are demolishing them. And this, this season might just be the one where we go on unbe un unbeating completely. In all competitions, I mean, I'm not going to jinx it, or rather, I don't want to to gym table, I just feel like that is a very big possibility here. I mean, there's there's a very big possibility that would happen. So, Fonteca has a hat trick, might as well just rest him and then bring James on for Schmidt. And that's basically all that I have to do in terms of substitution for this match. And there we go, really good match from him. I really don't know why Tuka would just snub a fucking player that. Uh, just got you a hat trick in a match against your bitter rivals. And yeah, good interception. What? Alright, uh, let's see what Pedri can do. Nothing, but okay. We're still we're still with the ball. Basically. We say, come on, what do you got? Damn, that was close. That was real close. I mean if that went in, I would have screamed. Okay, okay not really, I don't scream, but like if that went in, it would have been so mad. 
Alright, so Guardio good header. We say good. Disgrace him. And good pass. Uh, Gemma was just too slow. I mean, I did press the pass immediately. He got the ball, but but um, he wasn't able to relay that to Korea straight away. So, Fonteca picks up his match ball. Really good match from him. Really good match from the team. I think German scored as well. Yeah, German even like, got the last goal. Not the last goal, but like, he got the fourth goal. The second goal. Yeah, so good match from you guys. So, we have beaten Villarreal 4 0, and we are basically unbeaten. I mean, apart from preseason, but I'm, I'm not going to count preseason, please. But we are basically unbeaten uh, throughout this league. And we have Barcelona next. What the fuck? Then Juventus next. And then Real Madrid next. What the hell is this? So I, I'm, ba I'm basically playing these three matches straight up. And the next one I'll play after that will be the Atletico Madrid match. And then maybe the Juventus match. And then I will wrap everything up. Yeah, I will wrap everything up with the Juventus match. I will play the Juventus match. And then like the full match of that. So uh, we're going straight to Barcelona now. And we're playing the playable highlights, so I mean, there's a possibility that we will win the match because I mean, uh, I am very confident in our defense, very, very, very confident in our defense. And um, let's see what changes I can make. Stewart, yep, I'll bring in James, give him the cap captain's armband, then Foden, or right, I'm just going to give him, leave him there for now, Hallenberg. Uh, no, let's leave Florian there for now. So, I was talking about our defense. Our defense is really good. So, if we just are able to get really good attacking scenarios and we're able to defend really well, which is almost a given, unless I mean, unless they have a solo run with no one. I mean, even with that, I have I, I have prevented some of those from entering to, into our net. But, I mean, you never really know what's going to happen. And for some reason, I I did not change this black kit and yeah this is the kind of things that you just can't stop from happening and all you have to do is just make sure you um predict right pedro this might be the pedro in brazil right and i did guess the right direction but the shot was just too powerful for for kallenberg and they have another solo run okay this is what i was talking about it's the only way they can beat me in this in this um highlights but we have some speed demons here and we are able to then all we need here is Helbig to do his job and exactly so now we have a solo run for um German Fonseca is is very oh all right so Fonseca was just thank you all right so we are level one nil one or rather for for both teams and Let's see what we have next. Alright, so we have a counter attack. And um, Fonseca might be the best option, but then Foden is also making a pretty decent run. So is German, and the game just completely fucked that pass up for me. Great. Alright, so we have an attack here. I think, I mean, we're early in the season, so I'm not really fighting for a win here. I, of course, I would want a win, but I would want the. And that was straight up keeper. All right, so the, we do end with a draw. Ex exactly, I was saying that um, I'm, I'm really good with not winning the match because I mean we're still unbeaten. So uh, our win streak ends there. But I mean we are the camp new, we're the new camp, and yeah, a draw is yeah like the commentator just, like the commentator just, yeah, like the commentator just said. So English is so fucking hard. Um, it was a really fair result. I mean, I feel like I could have done way better if the game didn't fuck me up sometimes, but... Um, one all is a, 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 an okay result for me, especially where we are at the, at the, in, in the season right now. So, we have Juventus next. And there should be a couple... A couple... Um, what do you call it? couple messages that might have come in I hope I hope there aren't a lot all right so there are nine that's that's a lot <laughs> oh, yeah yeah youth youth squad youth youth scouting stuff I forgot about that we have three 
countries that we sent them to yeah i forgot we did that last episode um no one from spain yeah i almost thought that guy was good enough and yeah no one from spain obviously i was not really expecting anything better and then korea lunifa no good to answer that so, i mean we're already in january in we're already done with the transfer window so i'm not going to be accepting any loan offers or shit like that uh we are in argentina is there going to be anyone from argentina for this go i mean i doubt there's going to be anyone at the at the very start of this okay so last country is what nigeria all right so <sighs> Quite disappointing to be honest. I mean, I haven't gotten anything from anybody at all. Like nothing. I haven't gotten any. Like I did not get one player from that. Sorry, boss, but I've got to say my piece. I hate being subbed off. Blah blah blah. I really don't care. I need you to stay fit. I'm just going to like boost your morale because you are a really important player to my team. So, um, standings. We are. We just have to have to win this match basically to to um start strong. And I'm going to bring in Rise. Foden just go to an to an ninety two if I'm not wrong, yeah. And then uh, I'll bring in James. I'll bring in Stewart. Oh no, let's let's leave Cancelo on for now. I will bring in Tomiyasu in place of him. Let's just change this thing to James real quick. And I think we are good. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that um, no matter who I bring in, I'm confident in the team. Yeah. Like, there's really no one I would want to bring to this side anymore, like, from now. I mean, maybe unless um, someone like James, because they're already old. James and Helbig, they start, like, declining. That's when I will start looking for um, a player that I might want to bring into the team. But, I mean, for now, like, maybe for, like, the next two or one or two seasons, I, I doubt that I will make any changes to the, to the team. So... Um, we are up against Juventus. I think we have played with them before. I can't remember when, but I think we definitely have. But um, we are in the stadium, so this is going to be a relatively tough match. But uh, let's just hope that the FIFA gods give us the best, the best attacking scenarios like we have right now. So Fonseca, I'm counting on you. Thank you. You are not going to you're not going to miss this. Oh German is right there for the Oh my days. What the hell was that pass? What the hell was that pass from Taker? Nah that was that was bullshit. That was bullshit. I mean Risa is here and they are they are literally they are literally fucking this shit up left and right. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Alright, so Risa German is right there. And I'm going to blast this into the next outer foot. It's really good goal. And that's the first goal of the match. We, we would have been 3 0 up if not for this stupid ass. I mean, I, I could have sweated to reset at that point, but I mean, I just was not going to do it at all. So, Blahovic has a penalty. I mean, a player like Blahovic, I have no idea where he, he's going to shoot this ball. And. <laughs> oh my god, I did, I did have an idea. To be honest, I did have an idea. But they still have the ball, okay. So now we are on defensive duties. That was a really good save from Van Dre. Oh my god, I just took I just took Helvig back at the best moment to intercept that. And Cantelo does his job really well. They have a really good Alright, so we, we do get that ball. Solo run for Rise. I mean, you might be able to run past this guy, but German is right there to help out. Oh, that would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. But anyway, 1-0, we win the match. Really good goal from German. We could have gotten a lot more than this, to be honest, but we are not able to. I mean, that's FIFA for you, but next up, we have the match against Real Madrid that we have to win as well all right we have real madrid up next we are a game at hand we've drawn one and we have lost none we have won three and let's go madrid though they have lost one real madrid is basically crazy right now they have not lost anything and they have the game at hand so do we which is the match we have against each other and yeah this is going to be this might just be a really tough match i really i mean we have beaten real Ma i mean we have real madrid's number already in this series but i, I mean you never know what is actually going to happen 
in all these matches. So, table highlights, obviously. And let's just hope that we are able to get the win. We are at the Estadio de Cojetes. And we are going up against Real Madrid. I think this is the first match we are going to be playing in the stadium since the Villarreal match. So, I mean, let's hope that we are able to do the most in this match. I mean, Real Madrid might get the better opportunities, or rather the most opportunities. But let's just hope that we get the better opportunities and we are able to put them away at that. So, they are starting with a counter-attack. And... Okay, Vinicius is going, going fucking crazy here. They do switch to play, and Cantolo was just there to put off, put off the defender. And now we have a good chance, a cross opportunity. It's Florian Vich with the ball here, and come on, Foden, brilliant, and that's the first goal scored by Phil Foden. I think this should be the first goal we scored with him this season. I can't remember if we scored in the last episode, but I mean, this is definitely this, yeah, this is definitely the first goal he's scoring this season. In competitive matches I mean the ones I'm playing okay, so they have a corner kick we are already in the we're already half time we're already in the second half rather and I mean there's no points going for a counter-attack because we're never going to make it to the end of the pitch so let's just hope that we all right so we just played into their path and that was a really good really good interception from Florian Vitz there we have a counter-attack Let's just get the most, the highest number of players behind the ball. And thank you, Zaracho. Thank you so much for that. And we have our own counter attack here. Uh, let's see who is the best to pass to. I mean, German looks like he's. What was that? What the hell was that? I swear to God, if I swear to God, if that ended up as a goal for them, I would have been so, I would have been so fucking pissed. All right, we don't have a lot of players in the box. That is that's that is my fault entirely because of the um okay where where the fuck is Stuart? I think he's the one that should take this. Yeah, definitely. So we're going for Fonseca, obviously. He's basically the only one to go to. And I think this might be too much. Oh it's not. He actually did get the ball though. That that was crazy. But we still have the ball. We could still make a second goal and we have a free kick but is that going to is that going to fly yes it's going to i'm not going to pass i'm not, I'm not going to play rather i'm going to pass short that outside yeah so that's basically the end of the match unless they have unless we have one more opportunity we don't so we do win the match against Real madrid one nil i mean the the score lines are not really that high lately but um We are able to to grab a, a an all important win against Real Madrid. Now that we are doing the Real Madrid match, we can sim. Okay, let's just sim to the. Oops, let's just sim to the first of this match of this month of next month. That will be November, and let's hope that we win all our matches from here on out. Two one against Celta Vigo, two four two against Almeria. We draw against that team. That's really stupid. But do we have the scouting reports now? Let's hope we do. Manager award of the month. Okay, that's good. Um, manager of the month award. What the hell did I just say? <laughs> anyway, this guy is not good enough. This guy is not good enough as well. We're in Spain right now, and Javi Gomez. You nope, know, you are not good enough as well. I mean, you were fairly good. You were almost half a million, but nah. Okay, no one, no one is cutting it for me. What the hell? Monthly scouting reports for Argentina. No one. Still no one. Did I just waste my money sending scouts out to this? Oh, this guy is 800. I think I think he might just do. He's a goalkeeper. He will just do. Yeah. He will just do. Because I haven't really gotten anyone that I would really want to get. So, I mean, it's just better for me to... Um, sign at least somebody. Okay, this guy, your potential is really good, but your overall is not all that... Yeah, there's still no one from Nigeria. I, I want to at least get one person from Nigeria before the season ends. At least one person. Come on. Sorry, but I'm going to say blah blah. Okay, so basically, how big is an important player? Basically, the second captain of the team. And yeah, so no one in our youth youth academy. I'm, okay, just one new person that we're able to get. But let's look at the. 
Academy we can just four players all right so uh, these guys are the best we have um, Jose Manuel Rodriguez and Nacho Salazar that's the person I was brought into the, in, in, into the team just now he's 61 rated um, we bury you your, your these guys these guys um his um what do they call it his um what his potential is fucking crazy 91 to 94 uh, it's not something you see every day is it but um next match i don't know what the next match is um, okay, let's go Madrid. So we're simming all the way to the Let's Go Madrid match. Let's see how we actually do against the respective sides and teams of the La Liga. We win 3 2 against against um Hitapi, so we are still unbeaten in all competitions. But I mean the one I'm really I'm really focusing on is the La Liga. So next up we have Espanol. This is going to be a tough match. And let's just hope that we do get the win. We do 3 2, another 3 2 win. I don't know why we are we are um flunking the clean sheets like crazy and that's our first loss of the season against fucking sporting lisbon what the hell so we are not unbeaten throughout the season in 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 all competitions this time just in la liga and that is a really sad loss to be honest and <laughs> we go ahead and lose to fucking alaves i mean i just had a feeling because i mean alaves is a team that we just always lose two. So I mean, there goes our beating streak. Sad. Really, nothing we can't do about it. Um, Fonseca is on eight goals in ten games. German is on eight goals in ten games as well. Um, what else do I want to look at before I go into this match? Nothing really. All right. So did I say I'm going to play this one? No, I said I'm going to play the Juventus match. All right. So. It's just like this one, then I think the Juventus match is the only match that we have to play before we end this episode after this. So, uh, okay, I think this kit should be okay. So let's just make a couple changes to the lineup. Um, Tomiyasu, Zaracho, I think I'll put um, Stewart in here. Then I'll play Kallenberg, whoops, Kallenberg here. Did I just fuck something up? Right, no, I did not. And I think I'm good. Fonteca is only 93 already. Yeah, he's growing because of... Wait, I don't think he has peaked though. I, I'm not really sure if he has peaked or not, to be honest. But we have German Fonteca, Foden, Pedri, Kallenberg, Schmidt, Stewart, Helbig, Vardio, Zaracho, and Van Dre for this match against Atletico Madrid. So, playable highlights here we come. Uh, we have not lost any match that we have played yet this season. Um, I really hope that we do get the win against against this side i might i might have to play the second match against sporting lisbon not like the full match the playable highlights though because uh that loss against them was not really needed it was not it was not needed at all we did not need to lose that match we were not supposed to lose that match and let's go madrid versus zm projectors we are the wonder metropolitano this is going to be tough it's going to be tough as well but okay so it's not really that tough since we get a penalty in the first freaking minutes sorry sorry 23rd minutes the first the first um and yeah we just made it full of ourselves there <laughs> but we have an opportunity for Fonseca and damn that was close that was close but we are in the second half now let's see if we if we should be able to defend this really well relatively well I don't think uh Oh, they have, they have Gnabry. Oh my, that was, that was my fault, but thank God for Vardio. Thank God for Vardio. I mean, the guy is just always there to save my ass every single time. So now we have, God, I mean, that one take that um, penalty, God, I mean, man should have put that in the fucking net. I don't know why the hell I was trying to be a panenka. Because, I mean, it, it's been coming up for me way often, way more often than not. That's why I was pretty confident in doing it that time, but uh, this guy was able to get the better and let's send Foding away. So he should be able to score this. Should be able to score this. We're not, but oh my god, I can't believe we actually did not get any of those. But this is the last chance. This might just be the best of the match. Let's see. We have 
Pal um, German. Fonseca, where are you at? No! Crap. Okay, we have a solo run. Okay, so this is just the gods helping us out so much right now. So, Fonseca, come on. Give it to Foden. Fonseca, come on. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Please, thank you. <laughs> At least I was able to sweat it this time around. At least I was able to sweat. So, I really hope that they did not get a penalty right now. Okay, so we do end the match 1-0. So, get another 1-0 win. I'm okay with it as far as we are flying to the top of the table. I have no idea what the table looks like right now. But we should be able to... I mean, we should be at the top of the table. We are, we are unbeating for us. Oh, we are not. Shit. We've only lost one match. Now that that's done, we have a match against Sporting Lisbon to go for before we now um, play that match against Juventus. So, we do win against Athletic, Athletic Club. And now... This is a match that I really didn't plan on playing, but I mean, it's here, so why not just fucking play it? Um, thanks for listening to what I had to say. I really appreciate the chance to play while I'm, I'm in such a good, good mood. Keep your feet on the ground and squad monthly updates. Okay, so let's see what Spain has for us. No one yet. All right, so that guy was half a million, but I'm not working with half a million fucking players right now. Um, Argentina, come on. I mean, oh shit, I just accidentally signed that guy. Okay, this guy is good. This guy is good, Nacho Alvarado. Alvarado. That is that is a really good player right there. Then, no one yet. This guy got half a million. And his overall might just be um, edging towards that 60. So let's just wing that guy. This guy as well, but his potential is not really all that, so I'm not going to... Why the hell does this thing keep going up by itself? That is so stupid. What the hell? So anyway, Nigeria, we still have not gotten anyone from, from here. I'm really hoping that we can at least get one player from here. Alright, so it's not looking like we are going to get anybody. I mean, this guy's potential is really good. But um, his overall is not good at all. So I'm not going to sign him. I'm not going to sign him. Yeah. I mean, I'm only going to sign you if you have a chance of reaching that um, 60 overall. But you do not. Yeah, this guy, Meza, or Meza from Argentina. Yeah, you're getting the fuck out immediately. Um, Fernando Moyano, that's the second guy I probably um, accidentally signed. And his, his potential is not even great at all. So, no way I'm leaving that guy in our team. Uh, this guy, um, Jose Manuel Rodriguez, where's the guy that I just signed the Yeah, the Alvarado, his, poten his potential is really good and his rating is 62. So, I mean, this guy is what I have to keep my eye on. This is the only guy out here that is over 17. So, I, I mean, I might bring him on in the, at the beginning of the next episode if I don't forget. The, so, right now, we are second in the Champions League. We have to beat... Uh, these guys to go ahead of them so this match I'm playing let's bring in the a couple of players who haven't really had a lot of playing time James obviously then Stewart okay, basically just James and Stewart so I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring in Kallenberg as well yeah let's bring in Kallenberg so Florian Wirtz for Kallenberg and I don't think I want to bring in Foden just yet so Fonseca is basically the highest rated player in the team right now I would like to see how many goals he has scored but I'm waiting till the end of the of the season to see sorry of the episode to see just how many goals he has scored and if he has if he's going to I mean he might possibly win the Ballon d'Or I can't remember if we are in December or not but he might just be able to win the Ballon d'Or all right so we are here in the Estadio de Cojetes we are going up against Sporting CP they defeated us last time around and now we are going to be taking our revenge against them our team is way better it's way better than them on paper and yeah of course we get a really good opportunity straight off the bat i don't know if german is going to fuck this up but i'm i'm shouting for fonseca to run like fucking win right now so he shouldn't really miss this you know he shouldn't top left corner no way the keeper is going to get that yet another goal for fonseca i mean this guy might just have got up to 20 goals this season i really hope he has got up to 20 goals in this season though so that is the first goal and we have another really good opportunity here in the 27th minute i see kalenberg i see fonseca i really don't know who i want to give this to i think this should be folding on the ball yes folding so 
I mean, I might go for far post, but I don't know if it's going to get there. It does get the front take out though, and nothing really comes up with that. I'll give it back to Foden, who might just have a crack, but I give up on that real quick. Fonteca, come on, and uh, you do not, what the hell, why would you use your head? Pedri, come on. Alright, so we have a penalty here for Fonteca, and I'm tempted to do the Panenka. <laughs> well, I mean, he did not do that well in the last match, so I'm just going to go with blasting this into the middle. And, okay, man did not want to celebrate for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe he did come from Sporting Lisbon. I mean, he's from Portugal and he's such a beast. All right, so a, a corner, a corner for them. And I'm hoping to at least get something from this. Let's just use German to block this guy. He doesn't get to German though, he gets to James. And James does not clear that very well. I don't know what the hell that clear out was, but Vrit was coming in to help. Okay, let's just be careful to not give up, give up, give away penalty. All right, so that's... That's good. So they have yet another corner. A lot of time hasn't even passed from the previous corner, but um, we should be able to like deal with this the same way as well. Goes deep to. All right. So that is really good play. And yeah, solo run for Foden. I mean, can I go around the defender? I'm not sure if I can. Fonteca might also be on a hat trick. But I see German and thank you so much. I mean, I could have given for take up, but I didn't know if it was going to just drift offside there. So we have demolished these guys 4 0 against Sporting Lisbon. That's to teach them that they should not be scoring against us. But we just have another opportunity here. And my. What the fuck? I mean, what the hell was that pass? Come on. But, anyways, we do win the match 4 0 and. Oh, he did get it. He, he got a hat trick. That's crazy. I did, I did not know he got a hat trick. Oh, he, the penalty, then. I can't remember. I can't remember. But good, good, good match from them. So, I do not know how we did get a fourth goal. I think the game just dashed just a fucking third goal. And Fonseca did score that third goal. So, I mean, it's good for him that the game is dashing him um, goals. <laughs> so, what do we have next? We are. 12 games played, we've drawn 1, lost 1, 110, and we are 2 points away from Real Madrid, who are having a, a relatively good season as well, but we just have a better season than they do. Thanks for all the first team chances I've been getting, but I'll keep doing better. I'll keep doing what doing whatever I need to do. Stewart has actually got into an 89. That is interesting. So I think he might just get that first team position over Cantelo now, just so that he can the dynamic potential thing can get him to a to, an, to a 90 and then i'll be able to get my all 90 rated squad maybe maybe um if he keeps on playing the way he's playing right now i probably will be able to get that at the end of next episode as so the last match we have to play is this one against defenders are so simming all the way to it let's hope that we do not lose any matches let's hope that we do win all of them we, we win against granada 3-1 then the next one is against um, real Betis. I mean, they're a tough side. I don't know how tough they are in 2026, but we do win them 3-2. No clean sheet for us there. And next up, we have Juventus. And uh, this is going to be one hell of a tough match. So basically, if we win this match, then we'll have qualified for the round of 16 of the Champions League. Did we, really, did we win the Champions League last season? I really can't remember, but I feel like we did. I feel like we did win it last season. And if we do win it this time, it's going to be back to back. Yeah, we did win it last season, if I'm not wrong. And um, this is going to be a tough match because I think Juventus also needs to win for them to at least have a chance of getting into the round of 16 because they are currently third. And unless they have, unless they beat those, that team, and then they got to second because we beat um, Sporting Lisbon. But I doubt that they would have passed Sporting Lisbon because they were on seven points. The players are going for in this match is Bandre in goal, Odyssey. Then Stewart is playing ahead of Cancelo in the, in the left back position. Helvig Vardio in the centre back. Tomiyasu is playing right back. James is playing in place of Schmidt for the DM position. Pedri and Vert obviously in the midfield. Then German Fonseca and Foden are pretty much our um, best um, attack. And that's exactly what I'm. I'm going for in this match as well. So Fonseca is going to be taking the first kick of the match and let's go. Champions 
might just be the first goal if things work out for us and they do not. But that was that was really good to find um uh Fonteca from Foden there. And we have pretty much a gift and we are not going to miss that at all. That was really really reckless from the from the Juventus defense and of course ZM Kohete is going to pounce on that all day long and not and not miss those kind of chances at all. Alright, so we are one new up pretty quick in this match. And I mean this just gives me confidence that we might just be able to get a whole lot from, from this Juventus side. Thank you, James. And straight to right that oh my god. Pedri, come on. What can you do? That was brilliant and oh my god, that was a really good save from Chesney. I mean the, the show power was not all that, so I, I guess it's it's understandable that Chesney will get that. But I mean it could have been a lot better than that though, to be honest. So we have James and they, they were just wide. It was just fucking wide. And Alright, so I mean we might get I, I mean more than a couple goals in this match probably. Okay, good good save from Bertz. And Pedri have another goal, but Chesney is right there again to save to save it. So Alright, what do we have? I think I'm just going to go straight in this time for Guardio. It does not get to him though. And what? How the hell did he get the ball over for Teka there? Alright, so slide was not really needed, but that was good, but he was just not fast enough. He was just not fast enough to deal with that. Alright, so Fonteca, you should get this. German. Alright, second goal. Second goal of the match for German. This has been a really good, really good um, game for him. I mean, we are so early, we are so early in the, in the half, and we are getting two goals against Chesney, against Juventus. I mean, it was good from, from uh, Fonteca to find, to find German there. But I mean, the finish was really good, really powerful at that too. So, twenty-fourth minute, we have gotten a goal, a second goal, and this event just might end up crying this time around. We might give them more than what we gave. Uh, what's their face? Sporting Lisbon. I like the way they close down the the attack really quick. I mean, this Juventus has not had a chance on goal like throughout this match, I think. <laughs> but 2 0 in the first half, so I mean, the second half, we might be able to like get another couple of goals. But if Juventus do step up, I mean, it, might, it might just be difficult for us. But German has done a really good, done a really good job for this first half. All right, so we started the second half, and. As you can see, I want to get the ball as fast as possible. Because I mean, we actually don't have the highest amount of possession in this match. Although we've had the better of the chances. They just haven't been able to get into our box at all because our defense has done really well. And please let... Yeah, that hasn't changed yet. So... I have no idea why the hell you will make that pass, German. But what the hell... Alright, so let's just calm down here a bit. Give it to... Why, why, why is the pass so weak though? Alright, so this is the first time that that would be in our box and it was dealt with accordingly by the defense. 
right so i just wasn't able to make that pass very well come on come on this guy this game is dashing them the ball because we're making really good interceptions here and we're just not getting what we deserve this is dangerous that's really dangerous yeah so Bagre was able to to get that so that was their first attempt on goal i just knew that they were going to come out going to blazing in the second half so what i need to do is basically um defense defensive work we've done all of the attacking work in the first half so i think i might need to bring in Zaracho because he's faster and then Schmidt yeah I'm going to bring in Schmidt for Daniel James and yeah that's pretty much all I want to do for now all right so they're going short Fonseca should pounce on this immediately he gets what the hell is going on what why the hell did that just happen what the fuck was that That is so much fucking bullshit. Because, like, what the hell was that from Pedri? Why did that happen? Like, what, what, why are the defenders having to go around them? Well, that's fucking bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. I do not, I do not agree with that one bit. I don't fucking agree with that one bit. That is, that is fucked up on so many, so many levels. Alright, Fonseca does not get it. Alright, so they are on another really dangerous attack and I I don't I don't know what to do really to be honest and German was legit just oh my god. Alright, that was close. I don't know what the hell German was doing there, but I mean I am I I'm not taking him off because of that. I just need um reset speed on that on that wing. This is the first time I'm doing this kind of substitution, bringing in reset for German. But uh, what? Oh my god, that is so dangerous. Thank you, Vandre. That was scary. That was scary as fuck, to be honest. That was really, really fucking scary. And I need, I need Reset to be the one. Okay. Fonseca, come on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Oh my god. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. But it was... Crap. How, how the hell did he miss that? How the hell did he miss that? This is, this is so dangerous. Especially with the fact that it's Vlahovic. Such a dangerous fucking player, to be honest. Yeah, they have they have definitely been the better side. Thank you, Vardio, for that. And I'm just going to play this away. No time to waste time. And that pass was... I, I don't know what the hell Foden was doing. Because I feel like that pass was okay. Oh my god, thank god he passed back. I know they're trying to find Vlahovic right now. But I'm just going to hope this game does not screw me over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank god that shot was nothing. Is that Pogba? I don't care who that is, but thank god that. That, that was really tame because... Well, the end of this match was so freaking tempting to be honest. I'm going to lie. But... Really good match. And apparently, I just heard that we are top of the group. Good, good match from German in this episode. He has done really well. He has, he has scored a couple, couple good goals for the team. And I really actually don't mind the fact that he has, that he's doing really well. To be honest, I mean, he, he, he's, he's my favorite player in the team right after, right after Fonseca. So that's basically it for the matches for this episode, but I want to see if any of my players do get um, that Ballon d'Or nomination. But I think that would happen on the 5th, I'm not sure. But let's see. Okay, so we did stop at the 6th, but let's see if um, we're going to get any of those. 
but before I do that, let me just uh, whoops, I don't know why it keeps on, I don't know why it's moving by itself to be honest. Alright, so Spain, this guy would have been good, but his, his potential, sorry, his rate, his, what, his overall is not, is not good enough. Then, no one from Spain yet, no one from, no one from Spain yet. I don't even think there's ever going to be someone from Spain. This guy is 900,000, 56 to 74 overall. I think I'm going to go for him and no one else, basically. Yeah, so I still haven't gotten anyone from Nigeria. And I hope that this can really change this time around. It's not looking like it's going to, really not looking like it's going to. I mean, this guy would have been good, but his potential is is fucked up. So, no one from Nigeria yet. I doubt anyone is going to come from Nigeria in the first place. But let's see if. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So there it is. What the hell? Um, who will be 2026 player of the year? Oh my god. We have German Fonseca, Rise, and Cat and um. What the fuck? We have German Fonseca, Rise, and. Mbappe so this might actually be really good I, I really I'm really hoping that one of them do get it over Mbappe because this will be the first time someone from our team is going to be getting that Ballon d'Or and I really can't wait for that to happen so Ballon d'Or is going to be probably on the 10th I'm not sure either 10th it's supposed to be 8th 10th or 14th so we do win that match against Osasuna and then I don't know how we did not win that team. Honestly, do not know how we did not win that fucking team. To be honest. All right, so let's look at the at the uh, standings for the Champions League real quick. Yeah, so we do end up second in the group. That is stupid. How the hell? Who the fuck is Le Legia Legia Warsaw? Where the hell did they even come from that they are freaking beating us? and join with us in our home mother they beat us in our home thanks for all the first team action okay expect more from you i need more games <sighs> to be honest you know what i think i'm actually just going to permanently put him in the starting 11 because i mean just till he he feels he feels better because um he's 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 getting really fucking restless right now Risa is already on 89 that is good for him I'm just going to put him in the starting level 11 for now. Yeah, so. Or. He's, he's in this starting level. So, you know what? Let me just um, bring. What's his name? Schmidt back. Where the hell is he? And I will just switch the thing to the next. um This one. So that he will be playing more games over Schmidt. And now let's see if we do in fact get the player of the year. Hopefully we do. Risa impresses again. Player of the year announced and it goes to freaking Fonseca. That is really good to see. Really, really fucking good to see. After after four years, five years of his hard work, he finally is able to get the player of the year. He's able to get the ballon d'or at that. So obviously that's going to be the thumbnail highlights. Sorry, the thumbnail and the title. And Bro, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy for him. To be honest, I'm really fucking happy for him. But uh, what do we have next? Couple of matches against, oh yeah, just Villarreal and Valencia next. So, whoops. So I am going to simulate to the 31st. We won against Sevilla and Valencia 3-1, both teams. So that's basically the end of the episode. But let's look at what the league table looks like. I mean, we should be miles ahead of anybody. Well, not miles, but like we are. Is that five? Five? What? Seven points. <laughs> Seven points ahead of Atletico Madrid. Then Barcelona is in third, Real Madrid in fourth. All right, so we are a, a whole ten points ahead of Real Madrid. That's that's good enough. And yeah, what is this thing that I saw here just now? Midfielders of the week. So we have. We have Kallenberg and Schmidt, so that is good. So, I mean, our players are basically dominating this thing entirely. And I think I also saw uh, Defender of the Year as well. Yeah, so we have Zaracho, Stewart, and Guardiola. I don't know why this guy is not here. Um, What's his face? 
um, healthy because they've done really, really well in my in my opinion. Though. But Bardio has done way better, and I think um, Stewart and uh, what's his face and Zarato did really well last last season. So two year loan for this guy finally might be able to get that. Um, there's a bunch of guys that are going away next season. I think I I would deal with this at the beginning of or rather I'll deal with this off camera though. So uh, let's look at the goals before we end this episode. I think Fonteca might just be at the top of the league. Hopefully he is though. He's not actually. He's actually I actually saw German ahead of him. So German is on 13. Fonteca is on 12 in 18 matches, and De Ket De, Ket De is on 14 goals. So that's good for him. But let's look at who has the highest amount of goals this season in our team. What the hell? Alright, so German actually takes this. He actually takes this. <laughs> Alright, so that's good for him to be honest. But Fonteca did get the, the Ballon d'Or. That's because of his performance last season. I think he got up to 40 goals last season. I'm not sure if he did or not. But um, 18 goals and 10 assists from German, that is an insane amount of goal contributions. That's 28 goal contributions in just 25 appearances. That is, that is really fucking good for him. So that's the end of the episode. Basically, if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment on what you think about the video. Comment on what you think about the players. And then um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.